So Maharaj, we're very grateful to be here with you today at this uh, ancestral home of your forefathers. And uh, we pray for the mercy of Radharani and Gornitai, Radha Krishna. Um, would just like to ask you some brief questions concerning your history with having been initiated into a traditional parivar by uh, Sri Radha Govinda Baba, mm -hmm. and how you were then instructed to come and seek the uh, mercy of Bhaktivedanta Swami, mm -hmm. and also you uh, received instruction and guidance from Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. So you have served in so many different camps and institutions, and I would like your perspective on how you have reconciled and harmonized all of this for yourself. Actually, what I learned from my Diksha Guru, Sri Radha Govindas Babaji, I was not qualified, but he said me something. And he inspired me to realize that. And it's my surprise in my life that I got this realization with association with Prabhupada. He sent me to Prabhupada. You see the book of Mula Prakriti is there. Can you bring the Mula Prakriti book, all books? what I always ask, Mul Prakriti book, introduction, outside is in the box, uh, is a... The new book for... Oh, I'm sorry. He sent me to Prabhupada, hmm. and that was interview with me, with Prabhupada. I see him first time. You see this book? This was the Guru Dev sent me one, yeah, and open one fifty page, and you see, it. oh, you see, Shripad Sadhu Maharaj interview. Yes, yes. Yeah. you read how he was so merciful to me. Oh. And he has become a little angry to me when I say I am doing business and I am not, I'm not taking care of my temple. He say, what? Are you crazy? You become rich than your grandfather? You have to do seva and you have to travel and preach about that. You are coming from Vaishnava family, Prabhupada. Mm. Yes. And I f forget ten years. So the Siddha Mahatma words never go bad. My Gurudev also say, go and preach all over the world. Mm. You have to wear pink color. His Babaji, he said to be pink color. Mm. Mm. And he gave me, in my spiritual body, cloth color is also pink that I cannot deviate from this pink color, <laughs> you see. <laughs> so I wear to remind my sarup, yeah. Gurudev Kripa. Yeah. When I see the Prabhupada, the introduction of page 4, bring this. I want to give this also, that you know that. Page 4, about the relation he talks, Sambandha Gyan, mm -hmm. Avideha Gyan, mm -hmm. and Pariyojana. What? Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Mm. You see? Read. You know this. Well, show. Okay, last sentence here. It starts so, from Bhagavad Gita. But, uh -huh. but in the present status of our life, we have not only forgotten the Supreme Lord, but we have forgotten our eternal relationship with the Lord. 
Every living being out of many, many billions and trillions of living beings has a particular relationship with the Lord eternally. That is called Svarup. By the process of devotional service, one can revive that Svarup, and that stage is called Svarup City. You see? What is this? This is Svarup, our spiritual Svarup, Siddha Svarup, what you say, our this, when it will revoke, if I get it, and it not revoke, it will not work. It should revoke. Revoke. You see, you recognize that, you see oh. that, oh. your sarup. Oh. And that sarup will make connection with Radhika Dasham. Even in a preliminary stage, one can get familiarized with this Siddha Deha? Sure, why not? This is the goal of our spiritual life. Not only Prabhupada say, Bhakti Siddhanta say, bring this book. I say always, Bhakti Siddhanta, show him, read. So, from this book, Vaktritavali, uh -huh. Garland of uh -huh. Divine Discourses, uh -huh. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada, uh, if we wish to see the Lord's enchanting form, we too have to have a form. You see? What is this? Saru. <laughs> It's all there. So, Maharaj, there's some controversy sometimes uh, regarding <coughs> this, uh, the way that it's uh, expressed, Siddha Pranali. Mm -hmm. Somehow this word is a buzzword that... Uh, say with, whether it's within ISKCON or Godimat, that they don't really want to recognize this term. Do you know why? I have no idea. This is the Bhakti Siddhanta is the pioneer of Gauriyama Taniskon. When he is telling and when Prabhupada is telling his recognition. Why not I recognize I talk about that because I have no realizations. But Bhakti Siddhanta is the pioneer to fix this. All Gauriyama. When he says this is the truth. When Prabhupada is telling, this is the truth. I am his sannyasi maybe, and I have no idea about that. That is my business. But this is our Gauriya Siddhant. Mm -hmm. This is the reason of coming to Mahaprabhu. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur himself stated uh, many Bhakti times Vinod about Thakur sound, Siddha Prabhupada. song every day you sing. Oh. <laughs> every day is there. Our Guru Guru, Aztec is that. We have to understand what is Guru Aztecam. If I don't understand, only we practice to sing and we don't go. Then how? Prem Bhakti Jahavate Avidya Vinasya. Vede Gaye Jaharacharitra. Means without Prema Bhakti, my uh, anartha nivritti will not go, ignorance will not go. And prema cannot come without my form. <laughs> That's the point. So there's sambandha jnana can be understood in a general way as I am servant of Krishna. But more in-depth understanding is I have spiritual body, it has a particular name, form, attributes, and then I can truly serve. Right. In this this is the point. This is the point. If I summon the gyan, I physical bodily uh, trying to think, then it's not working. Sambandha relation is spiritually. Krishna listen. Why is supreme? Because he's the highest. You have to go with the highest place. And in this body, highest place is your soul. Mm -hmm. So you have to move from that to reach Krishna. You can worship Devi Devta with this body, but Krishna is not listening that. So he is supreme because he listens from your soul, from your highest point. And this uh, Leela Smaran can be accessed then 
um, through understanding our spiritual identity and then begin doing seva, even mentally. Manasi seva becomes active. Uh, what is Leela Smaran? It's a Nitya Leela. In English you have no word, pastime. Pastime means it happened something 5,000 years back. It's nothing happening here. It's not this. It's happening now. Every moment is happening. Nitya Leela. It's every moment happening. So, this pastime, what you say, is a Nitya Leela. So without going in that, how you will revoke your Sarup? Sarup only can revoke by the mercy of Kishori Radhika. Because this is the Sarup is giving. Who gives this? Radhika. Through his kinkiri manjaris, through his servant, that is, we say, Gurudev. But Gurudev is nothing, the Radha Dasi. He gives, uh, Guru, uh, Guru Radha Rani gives to his dasi, and this dasi is giving to us. Mm. This is the process. Radhika is giving. If Radhika not give, it will never work. And then our chanting becomes effective because we're meditating properly. What is your experience? Chanting be become effective after... Sarup or not? Say it. It's a recording. There is a change in the consciousness when we meditate on Krishna's pastimes when we chant Hare Krishna. Because then I feel that I'm related to these personalities. I feel that it touched my heart. Just chanting Hare Krishna without Krishna's pastimes, remembering Krishna's pastimes, it doesn't give me satisfaction. What is your experience, Maharaj? My experience is very clear, so <coughs> it's a must. You have to meditate while chanting, because uh, how you can uh, build up this, uh, this uh, identity, because when you are giving, when you are given a sfaru by 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 radical via future master, it's an in seed form. So, if you don't develop this, as good as if you don't develop this, nothing will happen. It will be like an empty world. Okay, it's happened sometime in time, and this uh, this will end at that point. So we have to remember the lila, and, and this is genuine uh, uh, process, and we know this from. Shila Vishwana Chakravati Thakur. You can you can read his his uh, 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 Kalpadruma uh, uh, little little book, and that is what what he's telling. He's telling we should meditate Asta Kalalila every day. This is and I'm doing this and and I can see the change because I've been in process since seventy six. It, it's a, a lot of time, and I tried different methods. And I can compare what was then and what is now. I can see the change. So for me, yes, the process is working. It, it has to be like that. This is, is my conviction. Prabhupada disciple. Yes. Thank you. He is Jayananda, 30 years mm -hmm. devotee, as mm -hmm. her, her <coughs> life. He is a Kripa Patra, Prabhupada, and Narayan Maharaj. Oh. Take her. Uh, yes, actually, yes. Shall I say something? Yeah. So like before I was chanting, sometimes moving, my mind go to outside. But uh, after uh, Gurudev's mercy, I try to meditate more swarup, mm. then go inside. Mm. And then mind is very fixing mm. and uh, kind of say, stay up, mm. completely fixing one point. Mm. And then, uh, easy to meditate. Still I'm on the way, but uh, completely different. Mm -hmm. Before, my consciousness is uh, outside more. But uh, now, more inside, more deeply. Mm -hmm. 
and then my conscience is sometimes kind of you know uh, um, really kind of trans, sometimes trans you know sometimes mm. you know and then sometimes realize coming sometimes not but try to go deep inside yeah completely different he is guru in japan oh he is guru in japan and he have hundred oh, people are following him i say that he is from Croatia, asked from his experience. <laughs> I'm, I'm much less experienced than this. Uh, uh, you have uh, interviewed before me. My experience is I started Japa Mala and after a year or so I, I ended it because it was so dry. After Guru Des mercy an explanation of how to chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Every chanting is, is different. Or every next chanting is different. It's deeper and deeper. There are no 40-year-old male bodies in Manjaris. <laughs> <laughs> so you when you chant, when you meditate on your Svaru and follow the instructions of the Guru Dev, it's simply amazing. I do not rush into into the chanting. I try to feel Sri Radharani hugging Krishna and calling me out. And each time I'm able to fix my mind on that, you know, my body is, my whole being is completely shaken. If I by some chance go out, I stop. I don't want to change, I don't want to chant if it's not like this. Mm. Stop and then continue when I can come back. Shaking my whole being. Very nice realizations from everyone. I wasn't aware of how many great personalities are here today. Um, Maharaj, one last question. Why has there been disrespect uh, for Babaji's, and how can we view their role in Gaudiya Vaishnavism? One is Goshtanandi, one is Bajranandi. When my Gurudev, he said me, you have to travel and preach, I start crying. I said, Gurudev, you are making me, what you say, crushing me, what mm. you Pressing. Uh, Pressing. Sarapping. Yeah, pressing, yeah. Yeah. Destroying. You're destroying. destroying me. I come for bhajan. <laughs> In your lotus feet, I want bhajan. And you say you have to travel. For what I will travel? I know I have five children. I don't need disciples. I know how much pain with one son. <laughs> Though nobody, son means no listening. Son, money. A disciple means they will not listen to you. You say something, they will do something. I have a pain. I don't want any disciple. I don't want preaching. I have no interest. And I don't need money. I have already temple. <laughs> what I will do with the money? <laughs> I no need to build. I have a five temple the grandfathers they make. <laughs> Five temples like this. So what I will do? The money I don't need. I no need my disciples. You see? So all we, I feel, all we are brother and sister for one goal. And that goal, how to become Radha Dasyam. This is the teaching of Narayan Maharaj. You see, every place he is telling, take the shelter of Radhika, take the shelter of Radhika. And by his grace, I start. He blessed me in Holland. You do this. And I say, Jaiho. Then it started happening in my life. Before I was hidingly chanting, never wants to talk this. But when he blessed, I don't know why I want to share this. Mm. 
Anandas Babaji, I know from 40 years. You ask? Hmm. Huh? He loves me so much. He is coming here, giving classes here. I have a personal relation with Anandas Babaji. He know when he will listen my name, all doors is open for me. Like this, he loves me very much. Well, I appreciate how you've been able to uh, bridge the different institutions, groups, camps, and you've always just uh, represented who you are and the love of bhakti. And I think that's why you attract so many people to the My Europe. dear, if to say like this, Krishna, you can see in Dwarka, mood is separate. Krishna, you see, Kruishkhet, mood is separate. Matra is different, Kubja Krishna. But Radhika, mood is one. Mm. Always only Krishna. Mm. So when we become Radha Dasyam, all conflict gone. Mm. There is no conflict there. Why? Because I see all this. My Gurudev is there, Prabhupada is there, Narayan Maharaj is there, all Mahajan, Gurujan, they say, hey, do you do this, you do this, you do this. All they are giving instruction and they are all in the service of Radhika. I never see, they, they are not together, they are so friendly. Babaji's line or Gaudiyamat line or Iskon line who develop his sarup, they are they are in Nitalela Pravista. They are all there in Radha Dasya. So where is the conflict? There is no conflict. And we are not in Chandravali group to create conflict. We are in the Radha Rani group. There is only conflict with the Chandravali group. So we are not in Chandravali group. We want to become servant of Radhika. Prabhupada always there. You see Prabhupada saying he Sakha. I say, then he why not he write about Sakha? Jai Radha's Madhava. First line. Jai Radha Madhava. Radha's Madhava. What I my worship deity? Radha's Madhava. Kunja Vihari. Kunja is a place where Radha Krishna is meeting and only Manjari can go. Even Sakhi cannot go. And Gopi Janavallava is Gopal Mantra, second part. If you have a Rupa Anuga Bhav and you want to be a Radha Dasi, then you say Gopi Janavallava. First part is a Basali rasa and Sakya rasa is a Gopal mantra, right or not? Everybody practice. So two parts are there, and he's a second part to, giving in the song. Is not surprising. We cannot announce this, and he put in the song Gopi Janavallava to relate with this your Bija mantra. One song more, his loving song, Bhajahu Reman, Avay Charan Arvindra. Second two line, Prabhupada saying, Pujan Sakhigan. Means, if you want to worship, worship to the Sakhis, to the Manjaris, to the Guru Manjaris, to Rup Manjaris, Pujan Sakhigan. Worship there. And what to do to Radhika? What to do to the Mohan? Atmani You give yourself, your sarup, give in service. That is Atmani Vedan. Pujan, Sakhigan, Atmani Vedan. Two things to do. Why not he writes Sakhagan? <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. 
Everything is clear. Yes. Very there nice. is no conflict. Oh, you make it all perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Harmonized. It is. <laughs> no conflict. Because we not become Radha Dasya, so we create conflicts. Hmm. This group is my, your group is my. You hmm. search all you will see here, all. Here. Iskon is here. Huh? Ah, Gaudiya, but all groups are there. He is Bhakti Baba Puri Maharaj Disciple. They, they are Narayan Maharaj Disciple. He is also Narayan. He is Prabhupada Disciple. <laughs> Brinda Mission also. Brinda Mission also. All missions live here. Yeah. This is the... Uh, only we talk about Radhika. So all missions are there. Where all missions come, all Krishnas come, that is Radhika. <laughs> but there is no conflict there. This is the Radha Dasyam. And this, our Acharya works are telling, and by the mercy of Narayan Maharaj, he boldly opened this door to move on. And I got the mercy from my Gurudev in 75. So I am looking, wow, what surprise I got it. I was five years old, I got Harinam, and in 75, be taking before sannyas, I am sannyas, I took 96. And in 1975, I got my Siddha Deha, a spiritual body. And I am looking and I am, I have no conflict because of that. Mm -hmm. I, I went to any place I can go in this call. Radhana Swami is one of my best friends. All, all in this call, best friend. I was in Arachiva. Mm -hmm. So all are my best friends. I have no conflict with any place. I took sannyas from Paramadati Maharaj and I have uh, Babaji Guru. And after that, my Gurudev sent me to Gauriya Mat and Iskon, you see. Not Gauriya Mat, Iskon he straight sent me. Go to see his expansion of Nityananda. Nityananda appeared in the form of Prabhupada. Hmm. Where is the conflict? I go to Anandas Babaji with red clothes. He never said, why are you wearing red clothes? And all they go, I bring everyone. He never said, why you wear red clothes, what you are doing, you are you're not following your Gurudev. He knows that I follow. Hmm. He can see that who is in practice and who is not in practice. I was going to Narayan Maharaj, I am hiding and sitting backside. But he said, come. From backside he called me and said, sit near to me. Always he keep me near. He loves me. I cannot say how much he gives me love. Not only love, he give me everything. What he realized and how he give me unexpected. What Prabhupada give, you read this book, then you will understand. I give you this book. So they are all giving. They are great sadhus. <coughs> how we receive, that is the meaning. We have to come out from this conflict. They are all givers. They are all lovers. They, are, they come to give us. Mahaprabhu appeared to give only love. Why? What is the reason of Mahaprabhu? Because Radhika herself come in Chaitanya to give only love. This is line of love. There is no other way. No other way. 
Can I read one line from Bhaktanath Thakur? Yes.